you guys i'm so excited i got some newness from mina if you haven't noticed yet mina is one of my favorite makeup brands all of it is vegan cruelty free and made in europe this time we got the no rules stick all set new collection well, let's see what we have i actually already got one before and i tried but it looks like we got a brand new shade i had the 503 which is my favorite shade i wear with lipid all the time and i have the same in the 24 hour wear cream eyeshadow the 503 and it's just amazing and literally stays on your eyes forever if you have like hooded eyes like i do you see my concealer crazy already in the hoods or like oil skin or anything like that the cream eyeshadow just place in there no matter what these new goodies let's open up and just do all the swatches and see which shade gonna match me the most today it says it's a non rule stick so we're gonna use it for a blush for the eyeshadow and for lips let's do that i'm just gonna quickly swatch for those who haven't seen the 503 one just how it looks and when we can check all the rest 503 already used this so this is not brand new should i show this as well It's like a perfect shade. For lips, for eyes. Okay, let's check the rest. So 369. So 369 is a rich pink brown shade. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. By the way, it's very, very creamy. I just realized that this one is a 369 as well, so we're not gonna check the same shade twice. Let's check this one. Bright true red shade. Gorgeous shade. It's gorgeous. Let's check my 362. The fresh natural pink shade. I think we might be going for this one today, actually. Definitely looks very, very natural. What you guys say? And the last but not least, we got the shade 385, the raspberry pink. Let's check. Ooh, I didn't show this one. The shade i have all the shades i have five different shades i think i'm gonna do lips one cheeks one and eyes another shade let's do that for my cheeks i'm gonna go with that 503 and use this as a blush i just love the shade i feel like it's a perfect shade i feel like it's a cute blush let's do that i'm just gonna go high in here Gonna blend it with a flathead foundation brush. Love it, it just looks so natural. Yeah, I love the look of this. Okay, put one more. Oh, that looks so pretty as a blush. Looks very, very, very natural. It's like not to wear it out. I don't really like the blush when it's like just, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people love it. It's super trendy now. It's just not for me. Like, if it's trending, doesn't mean I'm gonna love it. So yeah, this kind of blush, like very subtle, perfect for me. Okay, eyes. For the eyes, I'm gonna use a 362, a fresh natural pink. Nice. So with this one, I'm gonna take some on the brush. This one is a universal base brush by the Be Beauty. So I'm just taking some like, generously on the brush. And I'm just gonna go all over a little. Out. It is gonna look super super natural. See? I really like the look of the shade, so I'm thinking to add a bit more on the cheeks because why not? Just gonna go in here. A bit of a pink in there. Okay. And then that looks cute. Okay. Let's check another shade for the eyes. So I'm going to add 385, which is like a raspberry pink. 
on the outer corners of it. Let's do that. I'll put that at the last time and tap in. I'm gonna tap in with a brush that we did before. And for the lips, because we haven't used the shade yet, I'm thinking to use the 244, which is a red shade, right? A true red shade. I'm just gonna go this on the lips. Very like naturally looking red, don't you think? So I'm gonna use some setting powder to set all this in and finish it contour. Apply some mascara and I'll come back to use the finished look. But this is how it looks just now. And that's the finished look. What do you guys think? Oh, I did a little bit of eyeliner. Set it all up with the setting powder as I have oily skin. So, you know, just the cream product is a bit of a no-no for me. Also set with the setting powder, the cream eyeshadow. Cream eyeshadow, I mean, we use the same one second. And I actually kind of like it. You know, if you would get the cream blush, it's extremely pigmented. For example, this is more... The texture-wise feels more like a very pigmented balm, if that makes any sense. And I noticed with this product that you can build the shade up, like if you know tap on the top, you can add more pigment to that. So I really like that part. So overall, if you are that person who don't really want to, you know, get a lot of different makeup products, or you're kind of in rush or anything like this, this is kind of perfect because you can use the same product on the lips, on the cheeks, and on the eyes. So I think it's kind of perfect. What do you guys think of this product? Have you tried this yet? Have you tried anything from me? I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. You found this helpful. If so, as always, don't forget to press the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more, and I shall see you soon. So thank you so much for watching. Bye! Check it out!